guys welcome back to my channel candy's hair diary it's your girl candace welcome back to all my returning subscribers and to my new subscribers welcome guys um let's go ahead and get into this natural looking crochet style y'all so as y'all can see i've already done my braid down um and i just put a bunch of braids in the front and i didn't even part the back y'all i finger parted my back um so this should be quick i braided my hair down in what about 20 minutes um i'm gonna be using the joyful curl in the free tris in a number four and this was 10 bucks for one pack and it is 20 inches for three bundles in one um i've never used this hair before y'all but when i looked at it in the store i looked at it and i got two packs y'all um i looked at it and i saw that i was like dang okay this looks pretty natural so i got my crochet needle braid down i left my edges out because i wanted to look as natural as can be um i did not leave any part in the you know in the middle or the top out i just wanted just my edges so as y'all can see y'all see how this hair is it's soft y'all i was hoping that it would be soft and not crunchy um so yeah it's really soft and y'all see how long it is like it's down to my butt like this hair is long so if you like long hair long and big hair then i would definitely suggest this so i'm going to be taking a piece of it and it's not really sectioned out already so you kind of have to section it out yourself and y'all i messed up and took too big of a section starting in the back what i should have done was start with smaller sections in the back and kind of like medium section in the middle and then went a little bit heavier at the top and then at the very front like do smaller sections um but i mean it's for the look it still worked out so when i say separate it like i was literally having to separate it and so that you don't tangle up the hair i kind of did like this shake shimmy type of deal with it um so that it didn't get tangled up and so far y'all i have had no problems with it so far i'm on day two of this hair um so yeah so i'm starting in the back crocheting i'm not even putting the pieces together um too close because this hair is so full so as y'all can see y'all see how full this hair is y'all like and this is only maybe one and a half packs i think y'all see how full though it's giving me like almost lioness diana ross hair look how look how much of this hair is like it is ridiculous i don't know who likes this but it is i mean i'm sure some people and there's nothing wrong with big hair i just personally can't do it but okay so now i have it all in and y'all i did run out of hair in the front but it's so much hair like you can't even freaking tell like this hair is huge so as y'all can see see it's too much i got to cut it got to cut it so that's what i did y'all so i went in with my scissors and just started cutting at a downward angle to give me kind of like a a layered look um definitely don't want to go straight across because then that's going to give you like a blunt cut look and i'm not a fan of it i like a more natural looking cut so definitely started with the downward angle and then after looking at it i was like this looks too much of a blunt cut so y'all i took my little eyebrow razor now they do have hair sharpeners and i could not find mine so this had to work but using this razor will give you more of a natural blend to it so i took this razor y'all and i just went in i just went all the way in and went in and started layering away and as i chopped off most of this length i did look for a kind of a shorter length but i did not see a shorter length in this particular pattern so that's why i got the 20. um but like all in all it still worked out 
but y'all can see how flippy this hair is. So still cutting away, still cutting away. It's a lot of hair, y'all. So after I'm done, I went on ahead and got some mousse because filling with that razor feels like it made it more frizzy. So I wanted to get some mousse and kind of make it a little bit more defined, not too defined, but a little less or a little more tamed, I shall say. Um, And this did do pretty good like it didn't completely tame it but it knocked a little bit of the frizz out so that definitely helped like a lot um so yeah i just put it through i took about maybe three handfuls three to four handfuls of mousse and went through my hair and put some on my edges as well um just to kind of blend it in better and like i said knock some of that frizz out So after doing that, time to go in with my edge control, y'all. And this is pretty much the edge control I like to use. There are some other good ones out there, but I just like neat braid. Um, it's hard to find in the stores. <sighs> so whenever I see it, I gotta pick up like at least a couple of jaws. Um, I love it to braid with and to lay my edges down because it does the trick for me personally. So. Y'all see me trying to lay my baby hairs down and whatnot. Yeah. So just going in with my little edge control brush and trying to make my little baby hairs lay down. And yeah, like I said, I do like this hair, y'all. It came out really well. I did run out of hair in the front, but it still worked out. So I would definitely recommend this hair, guys. Alright you guys, alright y'all, so here is the final look. look. Um, this hair is really fluffy, I did even still put some mousse on it, and as y'all can see it's still fluffy. Um, if you've seen my other video then you know how I kind of feel about big hair. I like big hair but I like more so on other people. To me, I don't know, I don't know, I mean this, this, this works. Um, I do like this hair because it's not like that shiny looking so it's more dull and natural looking so now I gotta figure out you know, how am I gonna sleep with this hair like I'll probably pineapple it up put a head scarf on it so put it in a, like a loose um, ponytail or whatever but um yeah I do like this hair y'all I did run out of hair like I took too much of big pieces in the back so I would advise to like do smaller pieces in the back like split them smaller in the back in the middle and then you can kind of go heavy like right here in the crown area and then you can go small in the front all right y'all so yeah so i would say go small like at the front um i don't know if y'all can see it like i ran out of hair y'all i ran out of hair now this is just some edge control i put on it um so y'all can see this little shine right here but yeah so edge control um like I said, I left out my edges just in the front because I wanted more of like a realistic. Um, nothing in the middle is left out. Um, but yeah, so I would say that this is this is a winner. Like I said, I would do it smaller in the back, in the middle, well right here, and then kind of go heavy right here, and then smaller up here. But all in all, yeah. So I do like this hair. And like I said, I will put a description of what kind of hair this is. So y'all can buy it if you want to try it or whatnot. I think this would be great vacation for summer hair. Um, or I guess anytime hair. Um, like I said, I don't know the maintenance yet of this hair, but I'm going to try to pineapple it up. Um, See how that works. If not, 
See, I don't know if I can twist it if it won't alter the pattern. But I'm definitely going to try to pineapple it up and see how that would last. Anyways, thank you guys for joining my video. And don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button and push those notifications. Push those notifications. Push the notification bell so y'all will know when I upload any new videos. So, thank you guys for stopping by. See you next time. Peace.